welcome back. We are doing an Amazon sourcing video today. Quick little story time, I guess. One of my real estate clients has quickly become a friend. I'm about an hour east of Los Angeles. She wanted to look at some condos out here. And she invited me to one of her uh, Pilates classes that she teaches. So, hence the reason I'm so casual. I don't usually go dressed this casual to uh, meet a real estate client. But we did some Pilates out here. We looked at a condo. And now I'm going to go sourcing. Um, it's Q4. I'm filming this October. So, during Q4, I source like a mad woman. I source whenever I can for Amazon because everything sells as long as you get stuff with a good rank. We'll talk about that later. I'll take you inside my favorite place to source in Southern California for Amazon. It's called Grocery Outlet. We have a ton of them um, in and around Los Angeles. <laughs> I've probably been to all of them at this point. Like I said, I'm about an hour from my house east. I will travel to get to these because they're just that good. So let's go see what we can find. I'll give you tips, tricks, all the info I can during this video. If you are new around here, we have a lot of new subscribers. I've been selling on Amazon for four years and it is probably my favorite platform to sell on. Um, I want to say it's the platform I make the most money, but I think actually for the last couple of months, eBay has been, eBay and uh, whatnot have kind of knocked Amazon off the top spot because I've been so focused on those, but Q4, all focus goes to Amazon, so. facing me for better lighting. I just got out of there. I spent $189. I have more bags. I don't need to show you guys the bags. Um, and I was just calculating the profit I'm estimating to make. I'm estimating that I'm going to make around $400 in profit. I'm kind of underestimating because I bought multi quantities of certain things um, that I'll explain, but I'm estimating on the low, low end, 400. On the higher end, closer to like 550. Um, that's pretty good for one hour. I was literally in and out of there with filming in like 52 minutes. Um, I could be a lot faster if I wasn't filming. Let's go through it. The first section I went through was the beauty. No, no, sorry. The first section I went through when you first enter every single grocery outlet I've ever been to, they have a wall that you walk through of like their new weekly specials. And the first thing I saw were these, those cakes. I don't know what they're called. Pantone? Pantone? You guys will correct me. The holiday cakes. I didn't tell you guys this, but last Christmas I made a killing selling those on Amazon and I bought them at the dollar store. The dollar store here in Southern California had, I'm not kidding, like hundreds of them. And I was flipping them, not for a ton of profit, I was flipping them for like five to seven bucks profit, but I sold so many of them, you guys. I sold about like 150, if I remember correctly. Um, so I thought it was interesting that now they have them at Grocery Outlet. The ones that I was selling were like half the size of the ones I just showed you. Uh, the ones here are huge. Um, so that could be something to look into. Those really get an uptick, I would say, like after Halloween. Thanksgiving and Christmas, people love those. I personally think they're disgusting, but people love them. So who cares what I think? <laughs> so I always check the stuff on that wall cap, but I don't usually find anything there. Um, and then I hit straight... I hit, I head, headed, I need caffeine. I headed straight to the beauty section. You guys know, if you're an oldie but a goldie, you know I score big in health and beauty to sell on Amazon. Um, a couple of things I can show you. There were these um, wipes, like I think they were feminine wipes or something that you could lot up. They were like $1.25 or $1.50 in grocery outlet. And you could lot them up. I think the listing on Amazon was for 24. I just don't feel like dealing with that right now. I'm just trying to find individual products. So that's a leg up that you can have on other sellers. A lot of sellers are lazy like I am, 
or they just don't know um, that you can make a lot of 5, 10, 15, 20 items um, as long as you see the listing on Amazon. And you can sell the products that way, but I decided to pass on those. There were a ton of like shampoos and conditioners that were basically coming up as the same price um, that they were for sale on Amazon, or actually they were a little bit more affordable on Amazon. I found a ton of stuff where I would only be making like $3 profit. So I passed on those. I'm finally like learning what my groove is for Amazon. And what I need for my business model is a low sales rank, which I think we all need that, but I'm talking like 100,000 or lower. Like 100,000 is the top that I wanna go. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say like sales rank or things like that, I did do an Amazon beginners video. I will link it down below. I need to do an updated one because it's about a year and a half old now. I'll link that down below if you're like, what the hell is a sales rank? What is she talking about? And I need to make at least five to $10 profit because as we know, experienced Amazon sellers, that uh, people will tank the price and the price doesn't always stay the same. The price is changing every second of an item on Amazon. So it's great for buyers, isn't it? When sellers come on and tank the price, but it's horrible for sellers. So a lot of stuff where I'd only be making three, $4 profit. And I was like, you know what? The rank is like right at my tippy top. The rank would be like at 100,000 or 90,000. And I'd only be making like three to four bucks profit. So I passed on a ton of stuff like that in the beauty section. But man, did I score with one conditioner. Of course, I'm not gonna show you. Again, if you're new and you don't know why, watch my Amazon beginners video. I try to link it in every Amazon video I do, but I, they only had nine of them, but I am going to make, I, I paid $9 and they're currently listed on Amazon for 40 because I think they're limited edition or something. I scored nine of those. So I was super excited about that because I was really striking out in the beauty section, you guys, which doesn't happen for me a lot at grocery outlet. Um, I come here so often. I want to say like, I'm up to like three to five times a week in Q4, um, that I can just go and buy replens, meaning items I know that sell that have a good rank and I'm just replenishing them and sending more inventory to Amazon. Everything I bought today, I'm doing FBA. That's another thing. Last year, Q4, I did mostly um, merchant fulfilled and it nearly killed me. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. It was rough, friends. I have a full-time job. I made a ton of money, but I was super stressed out. I had a one-year-old and a job and real estate, it was too much. <laughs> so for me, I'm learning that for the foreseeable future, most of the Amazon selling I do needs to be FBA. It just saves me, you guys. It's great to send it off to Amazon, make my money and not have to ship it to an individual customer. Last Christmas, I found a hot Starbucks product that was sold out. Um, the only other seller on it was like Amazon and one other seller. And I'm not kidding. I sold about 300 boxes. I actually did a video on it. Um, I don't know if I did it on this specific product. Anyways, it nearly killed me. You guys. I was so exhausted. My fiance was helping me ship. My mom was helping me like package orders. It was a mess. I had no free time. I made great money. I made thousands and thousands of dollars, but I almost lost like all my hair. So I've, told myself basically like 90% Amazon selling for me will be FBA. I've got to make use of that. It's more expensive. It's higher in fees to do FBA, but it's worth my sanity. So everything today I'm sending FBA. After that, because I started running out of time, I went to the seasonings aisle. Hot tip. Hot tip. That sounds so corny, Nikki. Check the seasonings, friends, especially in Q4 when people are doing a ton of cooking. They're wanting to make their special turkey or their special Thanksgiving dish or their special Christmas dish or, dish or Hanukkah or whatever, Kwanzaa, all these holidays are coming up and people want to cook. So there are a lot of seasonings here at a grocery outlet that you can't find or that have been sold out. Another hot tip, maybe we'll just call this video hot Amazon tips. That would be so corny, but I love it. Um, always check the expiration dates on things period when you're shopping for Amazon, but especially at like outlet stores, like grocery outlet, they are able to get such good stuff at a discounted price because a lot of their stuff is close to expiration. Not all of it, but a lot of it. I talked to the manager and he confirmed it because I've told you guys this, my favorite grocery store is Whole Foods. I spend 
an astronomical amount of money there every month. And I noticed like a couple years ago, I was like, they have a lot of the same stuff that Whole Foods has. Why the hell am I spending so much money at Whole Foods? And then I looked at expiration dates and I noticed that some of the stuff is close to expiration within like a year. Some of it's not. I think the latest expiration date I saw was like 12, 2023. Um, and I'm filming this 10, 2022. But I also saw some seasonings that literally expire like tomorrow. So just be careful. Amazon is very strict on expiration dates. The date I'm filming this, I'm pretty sure it's like six months out from the day you list it. So a lot of the seasonings, I found some great deals where I could have been making like some of the seasoning packets were like eight to 10 bucks profit, but they were all expiring within a week to a month. So that sucked. I did find this like barbecue burger sauce. I'll show you. It had no rank. So I passed on that. Another hot tip. If something doesn't have a rank, just be careful picking it up, you guys, because that either means one of two things. It's never sold on Amazon or it has not sold in a long time. I'm talking like a year or more. So I used to pick up things without a sales rank when I first started selling on Amazon and they, I still have them and I've been selling on Amazon for four years. So now my fourth year in, that's a hard and fast rule for me. If there's no sales rank, I'm not, I'm not picking it up. It's just not worth my time and energy and who knows if and when it will ever sell. So I passed on that barbecue sauce. I then hit up the coffee aisle, which I don't often do at grocery outlet, and I need to start doing that. I did not get footage in the coffee aisle because at this point it started getting a little crowded, and you guys know I try not to film people because they didn't ask to be on YouTube. Um, I scored in the coffee aisle, you guys. They're, they have some like very, I don't drink coffee, but I feel like this looks like some very niche bougie coffee that I got. It's locally made like in San Francisco or somewhere in the Bay Area. Uh, the cashier was like about to have an orgasm over the smell. She was literally like sticking her, like sticking her nose in the bag. I'm like, ma'am, I'm going to be selling that on Amazon. Can you stop that? She's like, this smells so good. So I guess coffee lovers love it because the rank is I think the rank was like 6,000, which is amazing. And there's only four sellers. So I bought about 20 bags of that at $12.99 or no, no, no. I didn't get 20 because I only uh, spent 180. I think I ended up getting 12 because I didn't want to go too deep. And also the employees started watching me and I am friends with one manager at this location because I come here a lot for real estate stuff, but I didn't see him. So I was like, I want to get kicked out. They could kind of tell I was filming. They were being nice. But one lady looked like she wanted to like ask me what was going on. So I got 12 of those. Wanted to get 20, but I did leave them with some. Um, so that was great. And then I went to the bar aisle, you know, like the cereal nutritional bar aisle. And I always score there at Grocery Outlet. That is another one though. Make sure you're checking, you guys, the expiration dates. Because I found a ton of bars that I could have made like 10 to $15 profit on. They were like packs of 12 and 10 but they were expiring by like December. So I passed on those. Um, but I did find some bars that don't expire till mid 2023 and I'm gonna sell those. I think I might just sell those Merchant Fulfilled just because there's only like one other seller. I think that's the only thing I'm gonna do Merchant Fulfilled. I'm really trying to stay away from that. So we'll stop there uh, because that's where I stopped. I really didn't have time to go through all the sections. I really like to do that at the store, but I got stuff to do. I got to work. So hopefully you enjoyed. You found this helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. There will be more Amazon videos coming at you because I'm selling like crazy on Amazon right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon. Ciao.